los terroristas. Hello, Jay County. I'm Pierce Clot here, along with my co-host, Brockton Miller. Today is March 22nd, 2013. Yes, the cold is getting old, but guess what? A snowstorm is headed our way, just in time for spring break. But more on that later. First, we want to know all the results from yesterday's games in the NCAA tournament. There were some upsets and very close calls. And fans are making plans for the big Indiana game this afternoon. So let's send over to Darren to find out more. Thanks, guys. I know a lot of people think Gonzaga will go far, but they have to play much better than they did yesterday. The Zags struggled with much of yesterday's game with the number 16 seed that was playing to win. Somehow the Zags found their way out of their slump and won 64-58. to Also, Butler won their first round game over Bucknell 68-56. to Ronnie Clark scored 11 of his 17 points in the final eight minutes. Andrew Smile added a double-double with a career-high 16 rebounds and 14 points. And some other tournament scores, Marquette beat Davidson 59-58, and it was California over UNLV 64-61. But in other news, the Hoosiers are worried about living up to the hype of the whole nation watching, including our president, who has picked the Hoosiers to win the national championship. Coach Crean said it's nice, but I am concerned that someone said Obama is one for three in his pick for national championship. You just have to hope that he's right on this one. You can catch the Hoosiers in action tonight, but that's all I have, so let's send it back to the host. Thank you. Uh, prom tickets will go on sale April 1st. Don't forget to get your prom permission slips from the front office and guest passes from Mrs. Chowning and Guidance. Yes, and that's no fooling. American Red Cross lifeguarding classes will be offered at Jay County High School for the pool beginning next Monday, April 8th, and running approximately two weeks, and that's two weeks away. Uh, the class will meet at 3.30 p.m. on Monday, and the remaining schedule will be established that evening. The cost for the course is $155, and upon completion, the student will be verified lifeguards. Yes. Yes, indeed. Well, it looks like there's been a new study going on with Facebook. So let's send over to Emily and ET to find out more. Thanks, guys. Movie releases today are Olympia, Olympias Has Fallen, 3D animated feature, The Crudes, Spring Breakers with Selena Gomez, Admission starring Tina Fey and Paul Rood, and finally Inappropriate Comedy starring Adrian Brody and Rob Schneider. Ce celebrity birthdays today are William Shatner from the Star Trek days, who is 82, and creator of the musical Phantom of the Opera, Andrew Lloyd Webber, who is 65 today. Well, that's all I have, so let's send it back to the host. Amazing. Thanks, Emily. Well, spring break is a great time to go see some of those movies, though, so make sure you go see any of those. Well, I'm sick of this cold weather, and we're in for a snowstorm this weekend, and, you know, it's spring break, so it should be a little bit warmer outside. So let's go over the weather to see if it's going to warm up at all. Okay, well, today in the five-day forecast, it looks like... Today is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 40 and low of 25. Uh, Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 44 and low of 28. And to the west of the week, we can expect, you know, scattered snow floors. Sunday with a high of 34 and low of 26. Monday with a high of 39 and low of 26. And Tuesday with a high of 36 and low of 27. Ooh. That sounds awful. Awfully fun. If you like yeah. Snow. Well, it's now time for the birthdays, and we have plenty of them over spring break. Uh, happy birthday today to Mary Taylor, Gregory Rahi, Natalie Van Skyock, Maria Esquivel, Caitlin, and Caitlin Himmelgarn, and 
Tomorrow is a happy birthday to Cassie Dunmoyer and Mario Rodriguez. Uh, it's happy birthday Sunday to Mary Miller and James Williams. Happy birthday Monday to Chaz McLean. And Tuesday, happy birthday to Adriana Smith. And happy birthday the day after to Josh Martin, Willie Skyver, uh, Carolyn Reinhardt, and Theodore Allen Davis III. And then the day after, happy birthday to Cheyenne Osborne. The day after that, happy birthday to Spencer Shaneyfelt and Madeline Bailey. And the last set of birthdays, happy birthday to Nicholas Gibbs, Danielle Highcamp, Kelly and Kendra Fortcamp, and Marcy Burke and Sydney Boss. So happy birthday to all of you. Well, thank you, Jay County. Have Enjoy a nice your lunch. Have a great spring break. One of the most popular destinations for spring break this year would be Jamaica. Montego Bay is known as Jamaica's most energetic city. Being the second largest city in Jamaica, this popular resort has plenty of history, natural beauty, and vibrant atmosphere. Featuring a stunning bay with miles of coral reef is perfect for swimming and snorkeling. As well as those, there are many more activities available to visitors. Combine trails and waves in this one-of-a-kind adventure known as horseback ride and swim. After riding horses through Jamaica's backcountry trails, swim horseback in the Caribbean Sea. The price for this one-of-a-lifetime adventure is only $74 for adults and only $52 for children. Or fly through the forest with this breathtaking zipline canopy tour. Get a new perspective as you explore the heart of Jamaica. Go through the rainforest, over canyons, and across mountains. This amazing adventure is only $90 for adults and $63 for children. Or for those of you who love adventure but aren't up for horseback riding or ziplining, this activity is just for you. Take a 4x4 off-road safari that will take you off path that regular buses can't access. This adventure offers plenty of excitement. This price for the safari is $88 for adults and $62 for children. To find out more about any of these activities in Montego Bay, visit ChucaCaribbean.com. Volunteer today. Um, I had volunteered the past few times, and so I knew the ropes, and it was just a good thing to do. So, what do you do as a volunteer? Um, we check the people in when they're here to donate blood, and we make sure that they have their consent form signed, and that they read the material and get over it to have their iron tested, get to the tables. Then, once they're done, they sit at canteen, and we keep that stocked. And Make sure that they're feeling well. I'm here with Scott Schwederman. What made you decide to give blood today? I love needles. <laughs> so, are you nervous at all for the, you know, giving of the blood? No, I'm used to needles. That's good, thank you. So, how was your blood giving experience today? Wonderful. Were you nervous at all about it? Yes, extremely nervous. So why'd you decide to give blood today? I like to help people. That's the best reason. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Keep <laughs> Nervous to be giving blood? Yes, he's okay. very nervous. So why'd you decide to give blood today? I'll make a difference. Okay. Good reason. What's your name? Jake. Jacob Grant, blood donor. Hi, I'm here with... Avery Lloyd. And Avery, how was your blood giving experience today? Wonderful. Why'd you decide to give blood today? It makes me feel like a better person. I just do it every time. Are you scared of needles? No. That's good. <laughs> Hello, and I'm here with... Zane Shreve. And Zane, you gave blood today, correct? Currently giving blood, yes. So how do you feel about this whole situation? Good. Were you nervous at all before you came up here? I was a little nervous, but I got over it once it started. Yes. And so, thank you for donating blood. You're welcome. 
Oh, I'm here with... Josh. Martin. And Josh, you seem to have an interesting way of holding your pad to there to stop the bleeding. May I inquire as why this is? Uh, it's just a method I developed over years of practice. I feel it gets the job done more effectively. So why'd you decide to give blood today? Uh, just saving lives, you know, normal stuff. Truly America's greatest hero, Josh Martin. Thank you. I'm here with Jane Millspaw, and she's going to tell us the process the blood goes through once it's collected here. Okay, so today after um, we collect the blood, it'll go to a testing lab. Uh, the, uh, the test tubes will go to the testing lab, the, the blood will go to a lab, and it'll be made into components, which will be red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. And then after we get the blood test back, that everything's okay, the blood will go to the hospitals and then be uh, transfused to the patients. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Leslie Schubert. I gave blood today. I'm Avery Lloyd, and I gave blood today. I'm Donna Miller, and I gave blood today. Hi, I'm Kaylin Hemelgar, and I gave blood today. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian McIntyre, and I volunteered today. Hi, I'm Sierra Rockwood, and I gave blood today. So how was your blood giving experience? It was perfect. What was so perfect about it? Just, just, just everything. The needles, especially the needles were perfect. Just everything was awesome. Awesome. Thanks for donating. No problem, Bob.